What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. So today, I'm gonna be doing a couple things on the gas pedal on the E30. So if you remember on the autocross last time when I was doing some fun runs, I actually broke my accelerator cable. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> I don't have a throttle. Just give me a zip tie out of there. It just kind of popped off. I knew that I had like bad bushings, not even bad bushings, but literally no bushings on the accelerator cable area. So I went ahead and ordered some of those. All little grommets, all little bushings from BMW. I just had to order these. These were like 27 bucks or something like that. I'm gonna show you guys how this all goes together. Um, then I need to put the skid pan back on or the skid plate back on. If you guys remember, my motor mounts had broken. If you saw that last video of where I replaced the motor mounts on the BMW. Uh, my motor mounts broke, shifted the engine until the oil plug actually popped off because of the skid plate because it actually kind of like just curved over and spilled on my oil out. So that wasn't really cool. Uh, check out that video if you guys haven't checked that video out. I'll put a little eye up here in the corner. Let's get down to it. Let's pop these things in and let's get this thing fixed before this weekend for this weekend's autocross because we're about to try it out in some dryness. It'll be good. So if you guys can see right up here, uh, I actually have a, a zip tie holding in my accelerator cable right now. I actually replaced the cable um, because that was stretching out. That only had like two little frayed wires left. Um, but uh, these have always been missing too. There's supposed to be a grommet or a bushing here. So if you see how much play there is there, that's not supposed to be like that. Yeah, that's supposed to have a grommet. So there's some white grommets to go there. doesn't have the grommets over on this side. So we're going to replace those. So let's go ahead and pull this thing off and we'll get down to it. So I got to replace the grommets that's right in here. Uh, you can see this kind of like this wiggles and wobbles because it's never had a bushing in it or at least since I've had the car. Up here I had to put a zip tie on the accelerator cable to actually keep the accelerator cable on uh, during the autocross event that way my car would actually drive. So without that um, you know I'm having, I'm having issues if I don't have that on. So I got to actually put the proper bushings all up in this and uh, we'll get some smooth pedal activation because I don't even know if I'm going full wide open throttle. First off, there's like a little retainment clip so I'm gonna take some um, needle nose pliers and I'll just kind of squeeze on that. Try to get that out of here. These are like the smallest needle noses in the world. I don't know if they're actually gonna work, but hey. Right out of my god. Oh my god. Okay, so that's what that little clip looks like right there. Um, I think I purchased a new one of these just in case, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and like cut my zip tie up here. This is literally like the only thing that's keeping my throttle cable on. And this whole throttle cable incident, I mean, besides having the bad bushings and all that, uh, was mostly due to the motor mounts uh, breaking, you know? Broken motor mounts are no good. It was tugging on that cable extra much, which is totally a word. And uh, yeah, it it made them, made them breaky. So, not cool. Accelerator pedal thingy is out now some other spots that we got so you guys can see this whole assembly bam, 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 bam. it's really wobbly and jiggly um, there is like a little grommet on there and all of that so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and just remove the little clip from the backside of the accelerator pedal we'll take that off that way I can disconnect the accelerator pedal and kind of get this thing out of here and get those proper bushings in like look at that I mean it's it's pretty much falling apart now that the uh, accelerator cables out so I really didn't want this you know causing any more issues obviously having issues with your throttle is not cool it's something you don't want to uh, have issues with you don't want to pull a Toyota Prius and drive through crap even though I think that was just crap drivers so now we got the throttle disconnected now up here um, you'll see this little spring, there's actually a grommet where the spring goes. And up on the top, there's actually a grommet for the top of the springs. See that crusty goo on the top of that spring right there? That's actually the rubber, which has just gotten really old. And you know, that's why I'm gonna replace these grommets. Also now this whole kind of pedal assembly thing just kind of comes out. This is what it looks like for the throttle pedal. 
it is like that and we're gonna replace the grommets that go right there and right there so here's all the different little plastic pieces that I picked up for uh, $27 this one here this I think is just for the actual that spring area so I'm gonna replace that I think this one is for the spring area as well and then these two these little white ones are for the area there and the area there all right so I went ahead and popped that one in right there I can go ahead and pop this one in right here you can see this metal here it's not super strong so you know that's something you got to be aware of is you don't want this wearing out and then stuff breaking that right up there is actually your accelerator pedal stop now if you guys have ever wondered on your brake switch your brake switch is actually just a pressure sensor located on the top of your brake pedal which i kind of had to rig mine up because mine how somehow got bent uh, so I, I, I got zip ties going, man. This is a race car, so we got zip ties going. Um, one day I may have to fix that, but I'll probably have to fix that when I change out the pedal assembly, because like I said, for whatever reason, that is bent. Um, but yeah, let's replace the other two. That grommet back there is on the black little box. So if you follow the spring, you can see that little grommet. I'm gonna just push it out. You can see how nasty and uh, crunchy this one is. It's all gooey, so. I'm gonna replace that one. So guys, just using some pliers, I basically just, you know, put it up there, had to get maneuver my body really weird, and then I was able to just squeeze down on that and get it in, so that worked out great. Um, I'm gonna put this little black grommet into this little hole right here. You know, you may have to use some pliers to squeeze it on down in there. Setting it up like this, and just using a little, a little bit of a squeeze technique there. We can just kind of squeeze it on down in. Get past that little nipple part. Okay, cool, great. There it is right there. That is that grommet. So you're actually gonna put the spring in and then that first bushing that I replaced, that's gonna go like this. So now we have a nice spot to pull on. You know, it's now lubed up as you will or whatever, it's got a freer flowing pathway. You know, this thing is a little, not gonna lie, this thing's a little worn down, but I think it's gonna be fine. Shouldn't have any issues there. It's got a little bit of gunk on it, so I'm just gonna clean that up. This is the actual part that actually broke on me. This right here is for your accelerator pedal, for your throttle, throttle cable. So I'm gonna try to get it in here, and then after, okay, pressing it in. has a really, really, really tight fit. Okay, now we got that grommet in there. Great. I think we're looking good with those new bushings now in there. I'm gonna go ahead and get this in. Kinda slide it in as we did before. Now let's see. I may have to kinda do this first. Uh, yeah, and then slide backwards into that one. Oh yeah, see there's no play anymore, which is nice. You know, before I had all that jiggle now I'm not gonna have any more jiggle there, so that is great. I can just put that spring back on real quick. That will keep the accelerator pointing up. And I think this is really gonna help out with throttle control, because before, I mean, it's just it was really kind of sticky, obviously. That's awesome. Go ahead and throw in that retainment clip. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the new one since I got the new one. So, you know, I'll just kind of slide that over. You can see the keyway of that, and then we're just gonna press it on till it clicks. Boom, that is perfect. Accelerator back on there. So that's got its good, you know, movement. You have the kick down, because I got the automatic, so that, you know, there should be, bam, full throttle. It's gonna be all the throttle. So I'm gonna have to adjust it underneath the hood after this. So now here, Gonna see if I can't shove this in that new bushing. Yeah, actually that's going pretty easily. You know, and this is why it popped out last time was, you know, I just had my zip tie around there. It popped out due to the fact that the motor was moving and it basically just yanked this out, you know, along with my other stuff. It was pretty much just yanking the accelerator cable out and pressing all that weight against the uh, firewall of the car, which is not good. Here's that last little C-clip. Clip that on so we don't have any issues like I said before. You know, also if you're having issues with your accelerator pedal, they sell new, you know, pedals itself. This 
basically just clicks in down on the floor area and you can replace this if you have any issues because you could potentially have a break of the accelerator pedal up here because it actually is a pivot point. Something you may want to do, I don't know, it's a possibility. But now, let's adjust the what, what, what? Wide open throttle setting. Cause we want this thing to go whoop whoop. That's the idea anyways. Or whoop whoop, something like that. What I had on here before is, here's the new accelerator cable. Uh, for whatever reason, I actually had to have this piece of hose on here. Uh, the last throttle cable had this piece of hose on here and I left it because that was due to the lack of the bushings. Um, it basically needed this much space to obtain wide open throttle. So we're gonna ditch that. This is where you adjust the setting here. Um, you know, you just basically screw this little screw on and there is a lock nut, which I gotta go find. That's on my old accelerator cable, so I'll go grab that in a second here. Like I was saying, this is why I replaced the accelerator cable. I mean, that was what I was autocrossing on. Look, I had literally like three threads of my excel. No, how many left? Let's find out. Four, four threads out of uh, all that cable. So yeah, that was uh, a little bit sketchy. You know, I was pretty close to um, having to pull a string on here and just go bop, 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 you know, but didn't have to do that, so. Let's adjust it proper. So you can see this little plastic guy right here. And then once we kind of screw it in a little bit, you'll start to see the tip of that kind of coming out. So, and there is a little nut that we put on the end. Uh, and what that does is it basically locks down the adjustment once we have it correct. So what I want to do here first is basically just get all the slack out. So we're just going to tighten it down fairly far first until we uh, get a little bit of catch. Wow, see? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know there. I'm going to get a little bit of catchy. So there may be a little bit of play there. So what I'm going to do is step down on the throttle and make sure that the throttle body opens wide open throttle completely. So you can see I have a little bit of give in the throttle pedal right there. That's kind of why that spacer was in there, I guess, before. So that much does absolutely nothing. Okay, so right there, now we're, we're to the kick down portion. You can still see I got all that throttle there. So I want to make sure I go straight down and click. And man, I have, I got more throttles. I got more throttle there. So, you know, it might be my throttle cable or my throttle pedal. Cause I can actually push on the top of my throttle pedal and get a little bit more out of it, but I should be getting, should be getting all that goodness right there. So, hmm, interesting. Okay, so now I think what I gotta do is just adjust the kick down, the accelerator pedal. So if I press a little like on the top, you can see a little bit more movement out of the throttle cable itself, but you know, that doesn't really help. So I see this little retainment thing and I'm pretty sure we could do a little bit of adjustment and screw that down to the floor a little bit further. And in doing so, it should adjust the, uh, the amount of travel of the pedal. Okay. Yep, that basically just flips down like that, so that's great. Now we should be able to twist her down. We're gonna get some uh, some wide open throttle action going on. So you can see this little piece underneath. You know, I might have, yeah, I might have more of an adjustment here, so I'm kind of screwing down a little farther. Okay, now that's definitely farther. We'll check the engine bay one more time. Still got more, still got more to go. So gotta do something else here. Okay, so with a little bit of adjustment, now I have the pedal when I step on it and I'm going full wide open throttle. It's going full wide open throttle. Now I might be able to back it off a little bit. That way I get the, I think we're pretty much right there. So I think we're gonna be good. I'll have to drive it around, try it out. I might do a little bit more tinkering with that just to kind of figure out the automatic like kick down and all that stuff. Uh, kick down is not that huge of a deal to me. Um, obviously I want it to work, but you know, I might just kick down a little bit before the actual click noise happens because that click is just a sensitivity thing to feed back into your foot. The, all the adjustments are actually on the throttle body up there. So, you know, it'll actually do it without it doing the click. So 
Kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Yeah. If you want to disable that, you can easily just take this little piece off, but then, you know, you might bog down your motor and kind of, you know, you just kind of limit yourself to not having all that go. But now, should be getting wide open throttle. Like, I was missing like this much throttle, so the car is going to be much faster. That's great. Um, at autocross last time, that kind of makes me wonder, was actually getting full wide open throttle? Who knows? Um, so that'll be kind of interesting to see. So I'm going to go ahead and drive the car around and let's see what happens. Well, hey there, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Because if you don't like, share, and subscribe, and you don't like me, and you don't like the bird of 30, so, uh, yeah, that's an issue, and you can go ahead and, uh, you can have verb, okay? Nah.